Hello everybody, this is Will from Intrepid Marmot, and today I'd like to talk to you about Praise Dead. It's a new game I've been working on, and I've got a nice sort of pre-alpha programmery version here to show off. Alright, hopping right into it. Praise Dead is a game where you need to combine the parts of dead villagers and monsters together to create a zombie that will help the town. As you can see, each one of the parts has stats like strength, dex, con, endurance, and luck. And our zombies will be the culmination of all these parts. At the beginning of the game, each zombie is comprised of four parts. Later on, you can get upgrades and relics that increase the number of parts a monster can be made out of. You can also upgrade the shop, so that way the clergymen can find you better parts from the graveyard each day. You can also refresh if you have the money, and you can sort by the various stats that you're looking for. So we'll go ahead and buy a few extra choice parts to make for a zombie later. And then we'll go ahead and move on, and we'll show you how to actually create and build our guy. So if we go over here to the workshop, we can see all of our parts. We're going to sort them by luck, and we're going to try to build a nice lucky zombie. This luck sort of increases both the chance to crit, as well as how much money they can make from the mine. If you want, you can also hot swap pieces in and out, both before and after creation. And whenever you're ready, you go ahead and press the raise button, and your zombie will be added into your roster. Now that we have a zombie to work for us, we move on to the work phase of the game. Here you'll see there are currently three different options you have for working. You can mine gold, you can harvest food, or you can recruit more people to the town. You can see when I put him there, he gave me gold. When I put him here, the zombie gives me food. And when we put him here, we can recruit more people. And these are all based on the stats you have. Gold uses luck, for example. So here we move on to the final phase of a uh, round, which is the battle phase. And you can see we've got our monster here that we created, and it's going to fight these two little demons that have come to attack the village. Uh, and unfortunately, the demons have stabbed us to death. We should probably make a stronger monster. Unfortunately, they killed a couple of our guys, but we did make some money in the end. And so now the loop repeats. We now get our new choice of some fresh body parts from the graveyard. Fresh citizens have died, of course. And we're going to work on making a stronger monster. Maybe a little bit more con, a little bit more strength, and they'll give us some fighting power in the battle phase of the game. Alright, so popping back over here to the lab, we're going to go ahead and assemble together our new friend who's got a little bit of con in them and a little bit of luck. So this will help us both uh, survive battles and make some more money in the mine. And we're going to go ahead and fill out another space. So we have a total of three zombies to work for the town and to defend the town. And you can see up here on the left. Moving on to the work phase of the game, we've got some pretty good mining here at the 12x, but we don't have enough workers to get there. So maybe we'll just sort by luck, and we'll put our best worker here up front to get that 6x, our 9 luck worker here. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and put these other guys maybe into farming. We need some food to keep our citizens alive. It's one food per citizen every day. So why don't we go ahead and stick one of our workers here to farm. And then since we've got some extra space, maybe we could recruit a couple more guys. Every citizen you have adds one extra gold every turn. It's a reoccurring upkeep mechanic. So it's nice to start working on your economy if you get the chance to. All right, going here into the battle phase, we have four little demons to attack, and we have three defenders. Hopefully this will be enough. We'll go ahead and move this guy forward, and we'll sort the order as we desire. Later on in the game, we'll eventually have the ability to have armor and weapons, which will change the attack. But as you see in this demo, it's mostly just a one-on-one -on -one slugfest, or at least a group-on-group -group slugfest, until one side dies. And thankfully this time it was the enemy. Hooray! Alright, so now we've got a good amount of money to work with, and since we've upgraded our shop, you can see we get our first blue item. This is a rare, and it's got a lot more stats on it. It was super heavy in the luck, and in fact, let's sort by luck and see if we can really build somebody to give us a lot of money. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of stuff in there, and we can't afford an upgrade. Now, we're going to go ahead and refresh, and hope we can get... Oh, that's a, a beautiful piece right there. A lot of good luck. This, this guy is going to be all brains. Nothing but brains in our zombies here. And we've got room for two zombies in total so let's just sort of fill up our box here and just get enough so we can have two more zombies created more zombies means more workers which means better rewards from the work phase so let's go ahead and put them all together we're going to sort by luck and get our nice lucky zombie all brains mcgee and then just some some poor trash guy he'll just be uh he'll be filled with all the extra components that we've got all right so let's transition over here to the work phase and we'll show this uh one more time we've got Five guys, so we're going to put our best luck here. And look, $114 for that one, since we had so much luck. And we do need a little bit of food, maybe a little bit of recruitment. So we're going to go ahead and spend our workers here and get a little 2x on the food. Our endurance isn't very good, so we're not farming particularly well. But we've got enough food, and we've got enough for workers, and we've got enough money. All right, so go ahead and end the work phase. And, oh, look, we've got an even stronger guy. Uh, ignore the programmer art for this one. They'll, they'll, they'll be here later. So we're going to speed up the combat here, go a little bit faster, chunk through them if we can. 
Ooh, a lot of dodging, a lot of attacking. All right, perfect, we won. So with this amount of money, we have 203 gold, we might be able to go check out the bear and see what he's got for sale. So over here, you have the bear's house. He sells relics. And this relic, for example, adds two more zombies to your maximum total control. The wooden shield allows you to reduce attacks by three. The bandage heals you by three every time your zombie attacks. And there's a whole bunch of cool relics in here that mix and match in very unique ways. Uh, you can also see I've locked one of the pieces here. I like that one. I could save it for later. Um, but you know what? I'm actually just going to buy it. And since we're kind of out of money, why don't we go ahead and check out one of our zombies who's a little bit weaker and could use this part, and we're going to hot swap it in. So how about we get, oh, I don't know, uh, Morticia, and yeah, we're going to swap out this intestine for a better intestine. Boom. And just like that, it adds in. You don't have to remake them. Everything's good to go. And let's show off here one final phase, just so you can get the, the complete idea. Uh, look, we got really good farming, so we'll feed our dudes today. And you know what? Man, maybe we don't want to do that. Let's actually recruit some people. We'll sort by endurance, or constitution, excuse me, and we'll get some good recruitment done, and then we'll feed our people. And then maybe we'll make a little bit of gold today. I think that's a good idea. And actually, we have a, a, a good enough people to maybe make a little bit more gold. No, we're going to go all food. All right, well, let's show off our final little fight phase to wrap up the demo here. And we can see oh, a couple little stabby demons and our purple nurple guy. And this looks pretty decent. Our nice luck back there. Good strength guys up front. He should be able to handle the fight pretty well. Little crit there from the demons. They explode into money. And then we've got the purple nurple man. He's dodging. He's scary. We've sped up the combat. There we go. And we won. Awesome. Well, I think you understand what's going on here. I think you can see where the game's going to go. I have a lot more features I need to add, a lot more combat diversity, as well as the ability to add items and unique modifiers for the way your people attack and different uh, upgrades and different stats for all of our parts. So if this interests you, please wishlist the game. The link to the Steam page is down in the description. And I plan to have a demo and be available for the Steam Next Fest coming in October. So if you want to play the game, get ready and keep an eye out for that. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this little programmer demo of Praise Dead. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.